So, all right, we're going to start with some Q and A's, man. I'm super excited about it today, man. I've been, I've been looking forward to this uh, for like a month, man. Glad to have Eric on. So we're going to start out with my man. And uh, I think he's in Dallas. He's in Texas somewhere. My man, Cade, Cade, what's your question? And hold on, Cade, unmute yourself. Um, Hey, Michael. Uh, my question was, how do you deal with female friends, boyfriends who like stalk you or are which really makes me laugh like it's really entertaining it's it's hilarious to me okay guys i want you to consider kate how old are you uh 16 okay kate how long have you been following our stuff just out of curiosity i found it at the beginning of this year so i'm coming up on about like or the beginning of the calendar or of the school year so that's that's been about it's been half a year to a year somewhere in that okay okay so 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 Kate has been with us for like just say nine months. Kate is 16 years old and he's already asking questions. Like Tyler, are you seeing this? How fucking hilarious this is. Sorry, I this shouldn't is be so, using profanity. This Kate is, is so 16 funny. years old. Okay. <laughs> Kate is like he's using the principles we teach in this program. And he already has the boyfriends of his female friends stalking him. Like, this is a problem I deal with at 46. And he's all it's so funny. For people, when they join the program, if you join any other programs, it's like, eh, I can't get a girl to go out with me. Nah, nah, nah. If you guys are in MOA, you guys know you've been in it for a while. The questions are always the same. Hey, Michael, when I'm throwing a photo shoot, this one girl grabbed my dick in front of everyone. How do I stop her from doing that again? Those are always the questions we have. And it just makes me happy that these are the problems we have. It's like the problem is, is that I have too much women, too much money, and too much food. I'm too good looking. Like these are the problems you guys have, you know? That's what I love about this program is that I listen to you guys often. It's like, man, my two girlfriends are starting to get jealous of one another. Like these are the questions you guys give me every week. So I appreciate it. Hey, here's the thing. Um, if you, this is one of the reasons why if you're in MOA, those are really my only new guy friends, unless you're really successful or you're in MOA. I don't make a ton of new guy friends anymore. And the reason why, Cade, is because of exactly what you're talking about. Often, I'll have a girl who will come to my bikini competition or she'll come to one of my events and her and, and she'll come frequently and her boyfriend will try to make friends with me. And I know why he's doing it. He's doing it so that maybe I'll snitch on her if she starts fucking around with some other dude. And it might even be me. This is why, you know, when uh, Drake says no new friends, that's what he means. That's why he says no new friends. Because what happens is every time you talk to a girl and here's something for, uh, a lot of you guys don't know, almost every girl you talk to even if they don't have a boyfriend, there's some dude around there who thinks he owns it. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Put a one in the chat if you guys know what I'm saying. There's even when the girl doesn't have a boyfriend, you guys ever met that girl and she's like, yeah, I don't have a boyfriend, but she like lives with her baby's daddy and they have sex every night, but she doesn't have a man. Have you ever met that girl before? Like there, every girl, there's a dude somewhere, even if she doesn't even believe it, there's a dude somewhere who's like, yeah, her vagina belongs to me. Like, she still thinks that way. And so that's something that you have to recognize. There's always some dude like that. And the thing is, what will often happen to me, one thing I've noticed is that girls like being friends with me because I get them into cool parties and I'm a fun guy to hang out with. And guys like to hang out with me because I know a bunch of really, really awesome girls. But what I found is that girls don't want their boyfriends hanging out with me and guys don't want their girlfriends hanging out with me. That's something I've noticed. Kate. You just take your credit card out and you just charge it to the game. This is just a, this is just the cost of success. Dudes are going to stalk you when they make your life a problem. Then that's a separate issue. But dude, you're 16 years old. Like I said before, I, I want you to learn high ticket sales and copywriting. Like I'm worried about you. You're too good with women at 16. It actually scares me a little bit. The funniest it part actually, is I was, I was in the gym whenever he saw me, I was doing incline dumbbell press and I see this big dude behind me, lat spreading, like almost directly behind me. And I was just like, I was like, is, is that, is that not his, or is that somebody's boyfriend? And I was like, yeah. it is. I was like, he's, I don't, I don't know what he's trying to do here. Um, the other thing you'll get a kick out of. Um, so last six weeks in school, I got an 84 in chemistry. So my okay. parents are trying to get me to get my grades up and their punishment for me. The worst part about it has been, they took away my Spotify. So I can't listen to podcasts mm. because they, what they about noticed YouTube? that. What about YouTube? Do YouTube and everything. Like all my social media is turned off oh, until wow. 10 o'clock. So, and the Spotify thing is the one that's really kicking my butt because it's like, I'm listening well, hey, man, to let, let, let's, 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 let's get good at chemistry. Just say, you know what you, we can do is jump on the call and then be like, Hey, Kate. So just out, out of curiosity, what's the only, what's the only element on the periodic table that can have four covalent bonds at the same time? 
Anybody write it in the chat. The only element in the chemistry on the periodic table that can it's have four covalent now. bonds. It's purely the effort related, but yeah, well, they all got it right. The answer is carbon. The answer is carbon. That is the correct answer. Got it, dude. So maybe you, maybe you're studying chemistry with me. Maybe just say, hey, maybe. Michael Sartain discusses chemistry. He helps me with my chemistry homework. Yeah, building block of life. Ready? Yes. That's why you say when a girl says something dumb, you're a waste of carbon. That's what that means. Got it? Yes, sir. All Thank right. you. All right, Cade. Good to talk to you, man. That didn't that, didn't that motivate the shit out of you? Put a <laughs> put a write Cade in the chat if that motivated the shit out of you. See the sixteen year old kid. He's like, what do I do when these girls' boyfriends are stalking me, bro? It's so great. Oh, oh my god. Hey, did anybody see a funny video? This well, like some some people were commenting in the uh, in my chat the other day, telling me that I'm not six feet tall. This was the funniest thing ever. So I've never talked about how tall I am, except for a one time I talked about it on whatever podcast, and I said, "Hey, you know, I I really understand what short guys are going through." I was like, "It doesn't make any sense for women to like men who are tall because men who are tall, uh, you you don't have a higher chance of survival." And I'm saying this as a guy who's six one. I've never said that any other time except that one time. There are people out there like literally telling everyone that I'm five foot nine, I'm five foot 10, whatever. It is hilarious. But I tell you one of the funniest things I heard the other day or yesterday was um, there was this guy, it was the same, same group of dudes. And they were, they wrote something to the effect of, so I, I debated destiny yesterday and destiny has a chef. So his chef was like bringing in food and I was like, yo, bro, you got money like that. Good job, bro. I guess when you debate Alex Jones, you get this like fucking money so you can have a chef. And everyone was laughing. This guy writes in the comments. He goes, thanks for letting everyone know how poor you are, Michael. Other people can afford a chef letting us know how unsuccessful you are. So the thing is, I didn't realize that this guy didn't understand that I was joking. And that's one of the serious things. Like I, sometimes I listen to people online and I'm like, why are these trolls saying what they're saying? And at first I thought it was just because they're bad people. And then I realized a lot of times it's because they're autistic. They just don't get that you're joking. They like, they, they don't get the joke. A lot of times as men, like it, they just don't get it. And it's something that you have to be careful of because it's one of the most unattractive things that a man can be is like uncalibrated. And so that's a great example of somebody being like super, super uncalibrated.